Hi everybody, my name is Aton and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Today I will be breaking down this shot, so not quite a tutorial but more a walkthrough because the process is very timely, but you'll see exactly how I did it, so this is sort of what we'll be creating. This is one shot in sort of a intro segment of an action video. So this is sort of like a targeting like what the enemy camera sees as they're tracking this guy on this water vehicle thing. So, um, pretty cool. So, the original shot actually looked very different than this. This was actually the original shot. This was just some guy I saw, um, on the water, and he was very far away. So, this is shot at, like, two or three hundred millimeters, and so it's clearly very shaky. So, Warp Stabilizer stabilized this a ton, and it, it was really crazy helpful. But, so now I had to replace the background with this sunset picture. And, um, and so replacing that is not as easy as it might seem, because even though I have a pretty clear-cut border to get rid of, um, this water spray was very problematical. So let's drag this into a new composition. And so, pretend this is stabilized, because I'm not going to do that right now, because that also takes a while. Um... And I'll bring this up to full. Okay. So, I'm going to go over here and go to Luma Key. Okay. Here we go. Now, what Luma Key does is Luma Key will key out some of the color information based on its brightness or its luminance. And so, other types of keying, like green screen, that's chroma keying based on the chromatic values of the numbers. And so that's the color information. But this, on the other hand, is based on the Luma information, which is the brightness information. So we can set the key type to key out darker. And so here, we'll see it's not only going to key out the guy, so we get a really cool silhouette effect, but it's also going to key out most of this background pretty well. So then, um, I played around with these settings a lot. And it was not perfect when I did get it to work. Um, we had things like these in the background. But now, and again, I just spent a few minutes on these settings, so it looked a lot better than this. But I had this water spray looking realistic. And so now that I had this water spray working, I could just go around with a really loose garbage mat and get rid of all this stuff. So I had to go every like three or so frames, I set a keyframe, and then that was really enough to take care of that background. So now I had a pretty cool, um, let me go to this pre-comp, um, and just take off a bunch of these layers. Okay, so here this was the footage I had, and it is a little rough around here, but I knew I was going to be able to fix that up with some of the effects I was adding, like time displacement and chromatic aberration and stuff like that. But um, overall, this key wasn't great. So you can see this mask, I set it to subtract, and there we go. That gets rid of all of this sort of spill stuff, and we're only going to about there. So this wasn't too bad, and now we had, this actually, it wasn't supposed to key him out, but, and I was going to use another garbage mat to keep him back in, but I thought, it's going to be pretty close to a silhouette anyway, so, what's the point of keeping the detail, we might as well black it out entirely. So then, um, on here I added on curves initially, then the Luma key, then I forced motion blur, and then I added another curves to make it look just a little more sunset like to match the background and so then I brought on this background and again I got a very basic mask there um, and so I had this on and then to get it to match I just keyframe the rotation and position of this to match sort of the horizon and what I did I just saw the um, this sort of border here and I followed that and tried to match it as closely as I could with these lines it was a pretty easy scene because the lines provided a clear reference point. 
So that was pretty helpful when doing that. So then I just color corrected everything to match. And then now that I had the basic shot, it was just the details to sort of bring it together that that's, it was really pretty easy because you just add some camera shake to the background because that was a pretty simple um, thing. And then what else did I add on here? And back to this comp, I added on some more color correction and then I added a RGB separation again from Red Giant Universe and then um, that looked pretty cool so that's mostly it and then I just pre-comped this and enlarged it to get rid of that and um, added a vignette and then that was pretty much the finished product so that's how you could do it I didn't do it step by step but I think I provided a pretty basic idea of how I did this shot. So, thank you for watching this After Effects tutorial. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I'll try to get back to you. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.